Hi everyone, I'm Alexis and welcome to Real Life. Today I'm very excited to introduce to you all our special guest for this episode. He's a good friend of mine and he's also an advocate for the deaf. His name is JP Maunas. Hi Jay, welcome to Real Life. Hi Lex, thank you very much for inviting me here and for giving this op- me this opportunity to talk about my advocacy for the deaf community. Oh my God, I mean, <laughs> we're very excited that you're here. And actually, um, we've been very curious about you know, all these movements regarding the deaf and then we're very excited to know um, what you guys have been doing about it. But, but first, um, Jabe, I know you to be a photographer and a nurse. No, I, um, and my biggest question is, what are you doing here now at the Gualandi Center for the Deaf? So, um, yes, uh, I graduated as a nursing student and mm-hmm. then uh, I became a nurse five years ago. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'm still um, having ongoing masteral, my master's cor- my masteral degree Uh-oh. course in one of the universities here. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, basically, I um, doesn't mean more like I'm not going to nursing, but uh, right now I f- I'm really focused on uh, our advocacy for the deaf community. That's why uh, last five years ago uh, we started together with the other volunteers this organization mm-hmm. called the Golandi Volunteer Service Program, mm-hmm. uh, wherein we encourage volunteers to uh, serve the deaf community and mm-hmm. uh, this is just about the right time na I'll be leading the organization so uh, my entire time is really focused on uh, serving the deaf community. So you're fully committed yes. you know um, with your advocacy now and dapat banggit siguro Jape no kung mo serve ka sa mga deaf ikaw mismo you have to know how to communicate with them. Yes. Diba? True. And this is through sign language. Yes, that's true. So, kibaw ka mag sign language? Yes. Bitaw, tagay ko na kong sample ba? Uh, this one. This sign is, I love you. Yeah, I know um, that. I love you. The reason why I wear this sign is that this one is letter I for I mm-hmm. and L for love and mm-hmm. Y for uh, you. So, mm-hmm. I love you. So, this is a shortcut. Yeah, this is the only universal sign that can be understood by the deaf. The language of love. Uh-huh. I love you. Because mm-hmm. uh, in other countries, they also have their own distinct sign language. Oh yeah? Di, di yes. na siya sa tanan? Yes, it's different. Like for example, in the States, mm-hmm. uh, usually, sa Philippines, mga good, na ay, uh, mentality uh-huh. na sign language in the States and Philippines is the same. Or yun na akong pagtuo. <laughs> but it's uh-huh. really different. Um, each language has its own structure and grammar and everything. And oh. sign language also is different from English or any spoken languages mm-hmm. because it's a language itself but visual by nature. Okay. So, meaning to say you cannot associate it with any written language. Moba, so for example, ang death nga taga America o ang death nga taga Diri, kung mag sila, um, they get sometimes lost in translation. Yeah, maybe. sometimes uh-huh. they get lost in translation. But, um, na, first encounter na they exchange signs. Mm-hmm. And later on, na, they get attuned to each other's sign. Okay. And sa States and sa Philippines, we are influenced by the American Sign Language. So okay, it's very no, similar then? Similar lang sila. Uh-oh. But, uh, because of the, kan, a few years ago, atong mga Peace Corps volunteers uh, went here. And moto sila ay started this school for the deaf mm-hmm. in Manila. And moto sila may nag uh, advocate for the language okay. but uh, way back 300 years or 400 years ago there are accounts being taken na uh, uh, in Dulac Leyte there are already people who are signing Mao ba? Yes so, Naka nagkita ra Jude from our yeah. own ko ano? Oh, it was um, accounted by this Jesuit priest uh, Okay uh, He wrote it in his, one of his books na he identified some of the uh, people deaf people who are already signing and these deaf people, yan ang gikan, encourage them to be catechists. So, uh, most of the signs are originated from Dulac Leyte also. Krabihan, no? Yeah. That's so interesting. I mean, di ko baka imagine kay Marag, ang my understanding is, ako yung pagtuo, no, Jape, nga, kanang 300 years ago, if deaf ang person, Marag, paan na ka? Marag, bala na ka. 
Mm-hmm. So, that's why the deaf people that's why they were able to devise their own communication yes. style. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, one of our books is about deaf awareness and deaf culture. Mm-hmm. Um, the deaf, uh, speaking in behalf of the deaf, no? mm-hmm. uh, they would say that there's nothing wrong with them. Mm-hmm. And some would say, being deaf is not a disability, but mm-hmm. it's just a difference for the mm-hmm. fact that we have our own way of life mm-hmm. and you are able to communicate your own way of language mm-hmm. through sign language and you also identify yourself with the specific community, the, the deaf community, wherein we have our own way of you know, lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And um, deaf, the problem with deafness is that they cannot hear but they can do everything a hearing per- person can. So, mm-hmm. yung kag, uh, IQ nila, there's nothing wrong with their IQ, there's nothing wrong with the mm-hmm. personality. Everything is normal. Mm-hmm. So, it's just a matter of uh, understanding the language. So, language barrier yun tanan. Oh, oh. Balik kumbaga, they can be like a person from another country la. Yes. Lahi lang ilang community language. That's true. That's true. It's like, oh, oh. Uh, for example, if a Japanese would come to the Philippines and he doesn't know how to speak English, uh-huh. So, it's the same accommodation. Uh-huh. Maog yun. Pariha, bitaw. Uh, loss in translation, Gapon Mundo. Bitaw, no? That's interesting. No? See, there are uh, deaf people who are already successful, who are professionals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, just last year, uh, a deaf student from the school in Manila, mm-hmm. she graduated magna cum laude. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa entire graduating batch. Wow. Grabe. And... There are mga professionals. There are also doctors, lawyers, engineers, mm-hmm. dentists who are deaf. Sa Philippines lang, we lack this opportunity for the deaf community for the fact na, uh, yeah, sad to say, low lang support kids sa government. And mm-hmm. there's still re- uh, policies and uh, mga laws that needs to be mandated or mm-hmm. created para create opportunity for the deaf. Number one, anna, we don't have that particular uh, educational system for the deaf. Mo-ogyan. So ma'am, kutubras lag vocational or most of the deaf that I know, they graduate from they graduated from education, mm-hmm. particularly uh, special education, mm-hmm. because in their experience now, when they were still kids in elementary and high school, wala, uh, wala, they have the only few things that they can learn from their teacher. Mm-hmm. Lang. They are mixed with the entire class from grade 1 to grade 6 or from fourth year to oh, first year to fourth year and when they co- go to college they don't they cannot take the course that they want to take okay mm-hmm. wala wala system for them and they have to uh, adjust themselves a uh, majority which is the hearing and mm-hmm. it's hard for them kung wala interpreter or everything mo gud ka ni graduate og magna cum laude sa manila murag amazing kay kay di ba di schoolish school, school nga kanang regular school where yeah. teachers teach uh, like they speak diba, in front of the class and they they look uh, they watch films nga, you know kanang audio lang in ana ni naka graduate sa magna cum laude is that from purely lip reading yun dili um money mo sa ni usa sa mga kan ning mga mga, mga negative na mga mm. uh, mentality Mm-mm. because um doesn't mean that you're deaf you can automatically read lips Oh, oh. So you have to learn it. Learn it. Diba? It's the same oh, with sign language also. Oh, oh. That you have to send a child to school for him to learn sign language. Oh, oh, oh. And in lip reading, I think 30% lang sa English uh, language ang uh, basa nila. And oh, oh. it also depends on the speed of articulation sa usang person. So oh, a deaf can understand. Like for example, if the deaf <coughs> would just be studying ang English na uh, words read. lang. Oh. So, he may understand what the person may say in vernacular, uh-huh. but he may not be able to understand the concept or the context of what that person is saying. Yeah, and also, Barbag, I can just imagine, nga, for example, nag ta, okay, Pinoy kag now, I will assume that you're speaking Bisaya, but nag in English, day ka na po. Yes. Yeah, Mark, I'm just trying to read your lips. In my mind, nakasat siya nga, nagbinisaya ni siya. So, what ko'y nasabdan? I mean, how, how would I know kung nag-German ka karun? I would never know that, right? Um, oh. so, yeah, um, there are two um, approaches in deafness. Uh-oh. So number one is the manualist sign wherein they teach the deaf practically to sign. Uh-oh. Second one is oralism. Um, oralism, literally, 
they teach a child how to speak because mm-hmm. ang problema naman sa imo naman acoustic nerve mm-hmm. but your vocal cords it's intact they're all working yeah they are all working so mm-hmm. ma kan they can speak they can you can be trained how to speak ang mm-hmm. bata diri at an oh. early intervention lang siya mm-hmm. pero kung when you're older na usually mga parents man good say na province ng taguan lang anak na oh. deaf oh. or even the city di kes lang support silang anak mm-hmm. taguan lang kay maulaw sa silang child which is mm-hmm. Very unfair. Very unfair kina sa usa ka deaf. And later on, realize lang nila when they get to see a lot of deaf people or the deaf community. So when they send them to school, late na. So they cannot be trained na. So how many years na na wasted ato na kan na deaf. So early intervention para makakumodit ko. And oral is is kwan. Um, in a way, you can see wonders also because. Uh, ma appreciate nimo ang bata na mo suya bud nimo but um but the child can be more expressive kung he knows how to sign mm-hmm. because a uh, natural jud sa deaf na mo sign sila mm-hmm. because man because they cannot hear man Mahal. and the problem with deafness also particularly kung dili kayo expose ang sa child because man lack of parental support environmental support mm-hmm. sa balay lang siya isolated siya sa balay so all the stimuli mo bounce back and muna ang intellectual uh, psychological emotional psychosocial and all the factors na dapat ma develop sa usa ka person mo bounce back sa iya mm-hmm. because he cannot hear we can kita atong development pas pas because we are able to hear and see mm-hmm. pero ang deaf dili man lisod man na so wahi ang iyang maturity mm-hmm. or shall we say Ang usa ka dev kanang medyo late siya sa yang development. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Kulang exposure because the parents they don't support it. So, Pero kibo ka unsa ka grabe jape no nga maka kung bata pa ang dev maka tudlo day kaniya unsa on jud pagstorya. Yes. No and that is through oralism. Oralism. Aha. Uh-huh. But when we come back right here in real life we're going to get to know more about uh, oralism because this is something quite new to me actually and I think to all our viewers as well nga matudluan ni mo ang usa ka deaf person nga makastoryag yun using his or her voice. Uh, we'll be right back for that. <laughs> 